Welcome back. You watch your morning live. Heart wrenching, warm, and well thought are just some of the words to describe Michael Howard's offering on the fifth night. The book delves quite delicately with the issue of making mistakes that fundamentally change everything. He joins me in studio to talk about the offering and. Michael, I've worded it in such a way because I really don't want to give the book away too much. I want people to be able to read it because what happens in part two, I think, is so incredibly powerful that I kind of want to talk about it. In your own words, just briefly give us a synopsis of the book. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Um, the synopsis is really that uh, all of us yearn for love. Um, all of us have love relationships in our lives and none of them are perfect. Very often they're far from perfect. And yet, deep within us, at a level uh, that somehow senses that there is this love, we yearn for this love. But at a, at a superficial level, at an ego level, we time and again ruin this love as human beings. Mm. And, and the more we sort of struggle with this thing, and the more we reflect on this thing called love, uh, the deeper we question, what is love? Um, and we find that this thing, this thing called love is actually not only mm. then about relationships and only about people that we know. It's a universal thing. Yeah. And it binds us and it bonds us to those around us. And it changes life. You know, you use language in this book in such a way that um, there's so much passion and empathy and a thoughtfulness that has gone in to describe a relationship with a mistake that fundamentally shifts all of that. Was that, was that, was that purposefully done? Yeah, look, absolutely. Um, you know, Sam, the, the, the book is very loosely based on, on my own life. So uh, I've been fortunate to have two very deep love affairs, marriages. And the first, uh, the first one ended tra tra tragically. My wife had a, my first wife had, had a terminal disease. So she passed away and I went through the long process of that terminal disease and losing her and being at her side while she died. And that was a, a love lost. And my second wife and I have a deep, deep love that's, you know, everybody believes their love is deep, but, this, but it's tempered by times of anger and mm. times of imperfection. Mm. We have a very close relationship and sometimes through that closeness, uh, there's times when you, you know, mm. when you fight. Mm. And when your ego comes to the surface and you mm. want to dominate each other and all sorts of things. So the book is based on that uh, relationship with the second wife, looking back at the first wife. Yeah. And Mark, the character, Mark the main Hansen, character, yeah. Yeah, Mark Hansen's struggle with this huge mistake that he makes yeah. through his anger, through his yeah. ego self, through his base self. Yeah. And how he journeys to find the deeper self ultimately. This book made me so incredibly uncomfortable. And I think any man or anybody who's in a relationship that's going to read this book is going to so deeply reflect on where they are, uh, not only emotionally, from an I intelligence perspective, from a physical dominant perspective, that there are things that we do that we're not even aware of, but they play themselves out as repeats. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so one of the themes of the book, uh, well, first of all, the book starts with a yeah. husband punching his wife. wife. Yeah. Right. So the, one of the key themes of the book. In that moment of, moment of anger, he hits her very hard. In that moment of anger, he hits her. Um, now, the, you know, the, the, the issue is not so much the punch. Yeah. The issue is a loss of control. Um, and, and then the, the book sort of very, as you said, makes you feel uncomfortable because it inquires about why, how, what led mm. up to it, the family, the love around it, how can this happen? And, and again, ultimately takes him through this process of deep regret, mm. uh, the legal process. You know, there's, there's a, there's a yeah. chapter that deals with the legal process that he goes through. Um, and it's the whole, again, this imperfection of love that he, he so, so deeply yearned to have perfect, but is never perfect until... Mm in Mark's case, until he reaches a point where he has lost his ego self and he has journeyed to a place where love is real, beyond, mm. this, beyond this romantic love, a love that actually binds us. That deals with day-to-day -day real issues. Exactly, and a love, and a love that takes us at a, to, a, to a, a spiritual level. You know, mm. the book has got absolutely no religion in it, Sam, yeah. as, you, as you've seen. There's no religion at all, but it's questioning 
what is love at a deep, deep level. And Mark, in his story, finds that love is the thing that binds us and connects us together. Where can we find it very quickly, Michael? It's at major bookstores, and I'd love people to also connect with me on Facebook. It's on my, on my website, michaelhoward.co.za. Michael, thank you very much. I'm going to highly recommend this book. It's On the Fifth Night by Michael Howard. If you want a page turner, a book that's going to spark a deep conversation around dinner time or around a coffee table, pick up this book, go and get it. It's highly recommended. We take an ad break, don't go anywhere.